last 20 or 25 years, can you think of a word that's more overused and overquoted than innovation? It seems like no matter where you go, no matter who you're talking to, uh, who you're doing business with, what you're reading or listening to, the conversation inevitably turns to the I word. <laughs> it's like we can't get away from it. But the truth of the matter is we really can't get away from it because like it or not, today we all live and work in an innovation-driven world. I think a lot of you would agree that the only business as usual nowadays is that there's no more business as usual. It feels like every single day there's some massive change that takes place in the business world. In fact, it's often been referred to as the new Darwinism. You either innovate or you perish. And those are pretty strong words, but what it really means is that unless you have the willingness and the ability to continually rethink and reinvent what you offer up to the world, these days you run the very real risk of drifting into irrelevance. And today, irrelevance is pretty much the same thing as extinction. And guess what? All of this is non-negotiable. We no longer have an option. Managing all of this continuous change is simply part of doing business. Not that long ago, many organizations could thrive for decades on just one good idea. Think about that. Today, just to stay in business, you need a great idea every year, every season, every month, and in some industries, every day. Like architecture, for example, and the industry where Mitchell and I spent over 20 years each, advertising. In architecture and advertising, Innovative thinking and fresh ideas have always been the name of the game. They were always the currency. You're only as good or as bad as your last one, and you better have another good one next week. But for much of the rest of the world, this requirement to continuously innovate is a relatively new one. And even in our worlds, the demands placed on all of us today are greater than ever. People want more, they want it for less, and they want it fast. And if you won't give it to them, there's a pretty good chance someone else will. So you, you see, today, to be a leader, even just to survive, we really all do have to be like Steve Jobs. <laughs>